heard of RHS Garden Bridge Water? Has anyone not heard of it? Brilliant. Oh, <laughs> 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 so, RHS Garden Bridge Water is the fifth RHS garden. It's the first one we've created from scratch. And it's based on the site of Worsley New Hall. Does anybody know where that is just off the motorway junction of the M60? It's 154 acres and it is currently the biggest garden project in Europe. Maybe the world. We think they're doing something bigger in China at the moment. So I, I manage the community outreach team attached to the garden. I'm going to go through a little bit of the stuff we're doing in the garden, just so then you've got an overview, and more about what our team are doing out in the community. So I've tried to keep myself on time. <laughs> um, so the main role of the community outreach team is to engage new people in the RHS, so people who would not normally be your average RHS audience. Um, and specifically engage people that live in Salford. We're really clear that we want the garden to benefit the community locally both within the garden and out across the wider Salford district. So my team is currently funded by the Esme Fairburn Foundation for the first three years and um, we've got three key outcomes. Um, one of them is to engage people who live in Salford in shaping the garden. So over the past few years, my team have been in place since January. Um, one of them only started a fortnight ago, so she's very shiny new. Um, we've engaged over 700 people, about 90% of which live in Salford in shaping the garden. So what do they want to see when they get there? Um, are there any barriers for them getting there? What do they think the benefits would be? As you know, people are very forthcoming, so we've, we are actually being able to change how we do things in order to meet local need. Um, another one of the things we're trying to do is to get people actually involved in the garden. So, getting people through the doors, especially, I keep saying the garden when it's not got its makeup on, I don't know, the people that have been at the moment, it's quite special to come and have a look at it while it's a construction site. Um, it's quite scary then when you look at the plans and realise what we've got to do with it in two years. Um, so we're trying to get as many people, especially local groups, through the doors. We've currently got about 400 regular volunteers on the books that come and we run volunteer sessions four days a week now. We also specifically ring fence sessions for groups that come from Salford. Um, and there's also my team run additional sessions people who might not be able to access the general volunteering programme for whatever reason. Um, an example of that would be Holly, who's one of our community outreach advisors, will shortly be running a session for a group from start in Salford that may find it difficult to just come along to one of the normal groups who run in a bespoke session for that group, with the hope that then in the future they may feel comfortable attending some of the regular sessions. Um, another key element of it is to um, build skills and develop an education package. So quite recently, just before I went on holiday, we had 14, 16 year olds from Salford involved in the National Citizenship Programme who were with us for two weeks, did everything up from pointing up the wall, dividing plants for us, they renovated the big RHS logo from Tatton showing something which I think is far more beautiful than what we had at Tatton. So that's been great and quite a few of them went away saying, well, here's, here's my email address, when can I come back and start working for you? So it's changed people's idea um, of what they may do for a career. Um, another programme we've got is actually running here on Friday. We're working in partnership with the university to run something called the Green Planet Challenge, which is engaging young people. Um, I say Ian's kindly volunteered to be an assessor for our um, event in November. So it's involving young people aged 13 to 15 in a design challenge. So they'll come here, have a look around the park, um, meet up with industry mentors who will guide them through a 10 week programme to develop skills around gardening and design and then at the end everyone comes back together here and we have a kind of Dragon's Den style presentation. Um, but the main focus of our work at the moment is very much getting pe working with people to transform green spaces across Salford. Um, we, are, we do have three target areas that we're specifically working with. Um, so Andy, who is one of our community outreach workers, specifically works with communities in Little Hulton and Pendleton. Holly works with communities in Oddsall and then also has a district-wide remit. Um, I'll just give you a few examples of some of the bits of work we're doing and have done already. So Andy's worked with Salford Women's Centre to develop a small area outside their garden and do a few um, pot to plate activities, so cooking up pizza and then planting the ingredients you can then grow to make your own pizza. Um, he's also been working with Claire um, and Kenyan Residents Association to renovate the area around their new community centre but also an adjacent patch of land. We're really pleased we're working in partnership in Little Hulton with um, Little Hulton Big Local and the Parks Service to look at doing some work around Peel Park which we're hoping will take place between now um, and the new year. 
and again he's working with Ian and he's working with Ian to look at developing an in bloom project that Ian's already kicked off and got going again in partnership with City West um, around Hulton Avenue area of Little Hulton. And part of what we're hoping to do is sort of create, be a catalyst to start creating a critical mass around certain areas that changes the way that people think about their green space. So they're proud of it, they see it as an asset, not a liability. Um, it's something that they can do something with and they can make a difference with. Um, I was say, is there anything else I really... Am I five minutes up or can I carry on talking? <laughs> yeah. Well, five minutes up. Right, so I was going to say, fundamentally what we're after doing is we know that green spaces are really important in improving health and well-being, improving the environment, creating community connections. So I think what we've got an opportunity with for this group is to create a group of people that can come together to make happy, healthy communities. Thanks, Karen.